Hi everyone, I'm your instructor Navin Sharma. I'm taking a live SAP Fury class and if you want to enroll for the class, please write me an email on tactrulsindia at gmail.com or you can also write me on my Instagram account Navin underscore Fury and I will share the details regarding the course with you. In this video, we will learn about expression binding. Expression binding is an enhancement of the SAP FI binding syntax which allows for providing expressions instead of custom format of functions. It means you can replace all the custom format of functions with expression binding. We will learn about the complex binding syntax and we don't need the controller logic because we are going to write everything in the XML field. Let me show you what is expression binding. Expression binding is extremely useful in UFI application development. Because using expression binding, we can fix the issues like this master card is coming as lowercase, the debit card is coming as lowercase, and the active. So what should be the deciding factor uh, for this active and non-active? So right now, we have the state, and the state has a value called false, true, true. So if the state is true, that means the card is active. If the state is false, that means the card is expired. So I'll copy this state, and I'll put uh, aggregation binding for the info. I want to display active or expired, right? So what I will do, I'll remove this, put the binding syntax. And now here I will put equal to dollar sign, then curly braces, then my O bank details is greater than sign. And I'll put my state. So till here, it will get the state now i'll put the condition and i will say that if state till here it is getting the states true or false if i say if it is equal to equal to equal to true i'll put a ternary operator to segregate okay let me put it in a separate line so it would be easy for you to understand now i'll put the condition and i will say that if it is true i want the info value as active here we can put the small uh, this one apostrophe comma apostrophe and then segregate it uh, sorry then put a column and you can put if the state is true it should be active if it is not true the if and else condition it is kind of if it is not true then keep it the value the information value keep it as expired expired now what will happen it will check this is the egg expression binding where we are reading the state value and right now for the first the state is true so it will come this condition is is true if the whole condition is true it will display the first name active if this whole condition is false then it will display the expired so for our case state is true so till here the value is true true is equal to equal to true so this whole condition is getting true it means it will display the active for the first item in the same way the another another item it will read for the other data it will read the other state second item it is coming as false so for second item it will display as expired and for the third item it will again check whether the state is true or false if it is true it will display active if it is false it will display expired let's see open the card details right now it is not reading it correctly and i tell you what's the reason the reason is o bank details we have put o bank details we have put slash sorry we have put the greater than symbol and then we have put state state -E, state which is true we have put the ternary operator colon we have put So if you will notice, it has changed the text for one, first it is active, for another it is expired, for third one it is active, right? This is for text. Now we have to change the color of these uh, background also. For active, it should display the success color, green color. For expired, it should display the red color. And for this, there is a, another thing called info state. So for info state, I'll put the same condition. I'll copy paste the same condition. But one change I will do instead of this putting the value as active and expired because here we wanted to display the active we want to display the expired but here we want the particular value so earlier we were using the values for uh, the info state like error 
and uh, success right so i'll change the condition uh, i'll not change the condition i'll change the value i'll put that if this condition is true then it should be success if it is not true then it should be error now if we will run the application you will notice that it will be changed based on the state value it will display the color as success it will display the color as error let me run the application and this is what it is it is it has changed it is taking the text based on the condition it is taking the color based on the condition now we have to change this color as well on the left hand side there's a highlighter color so where is the highlight property it is right now it is information for all that's why it is coming as blue i'll put the same condition we don't have to do anything just copy paste the same condition and the based on this the condition is true because we want to display success if the condition is true we want to display error if condition is false so eventually what will happen it will work the same way so let the application run open the card details you see the highlighter color is also changed based on the condition so what is the condition condition is coming from this state if it is false it is checking the value of this state and based on this value, it is comparing it with this hard-coded value, true and false. And based on this, it is changing the text. Based on that, this, it is changing the color. Success and error. Success means green, error means red. So right now, our card details are getting loaded. But still, there is some problem that I can see is that MasterCard is coming as lower case and debit card is also coming as lower case. And uh, our easy way to fix it is that we change the data in our JSON model, we can put it as debit card in all uh, capital. But generally, whenever we receive a data from the server, we don't receive in the perfect way as the way we want. We have to make it perfect uh, based on our UI skills. So that expression binding, again, we can use. Since I know that all the data which is coming is coming as small case, I want to convert it in, in the upper case. And uh, to do that, again, I have to put my aggregation, uh, sorry, the expression binding syntax. So let me remove these two because this is not required anymore. Single standard list item would work fine. So now we have to do in the title, the card company. The card company is the property which is coming as the card company, which is coming as MasterCard. I want to make it the uppercase. So I have to put the same conditions again, similar kind of condition. I'll put a curly braces equal to dollar sign. Now here we are getting the details and the card company. So after this, what I can do is I can put a dot and I can directly put the form, uh, the standard method to the JavaScript standard method to upper case. And I can put the parenthesis and I can close this so here the curly braces starts here it is getting end what is there after th that will keep as it is what it will do it will take the value of card company it will convert it into uppercase right if you will notice the application would run and if you will notice the value is converted into the uppercase this is what we wanted correct now in the similar way we can also change the car credit card debit card the card type so for this also in the description, I'll put curly braces equal to dollar sign. Now the condition is as it is dot to upper case and then close the curly braces. Now it will convert this as well. If you want to display the card number in the parenthesis, you can put the parenthesis, you can put this value inside the parenthesis and it would work absolutely fine. And only thing it will do is that the parenthesis would be visible on the UI screen. So let me run the application again. And you'll see the parentheses are coming. Debit card is converted into the uppercase, MasterCard converted into the uppercase. Now it is looking much more efficient, which is absolutely good. And uh, if you want to display anything, you can do that. You can put this into parentheses if you want parentheses coming for all three. So this is what our expression binding is. And this is the 